Good day and welcome to this introduction to PA Forward for the new director orientation. Uh, PA Forward is an initiative of the Pennsylvania Library Association, and I am Rob Lesher. Uh, my title is I am the PA Forward Program Manager, and I work for the Pennsylvania Library Association uh, at our headquarters located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, today's presentation is subtitled Helping Libraries Integrate, Collaborate, and Expand through PA Forward and the STAR Library Program. Uh, PA Forward uh, is a project that is made possible by, li by a library services and technology, LSTA funds from the US Institute of Museums and Library Services as administered by the Pennsylvania Department of Education through the Office of Commonwealth Libraries and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Tom Wolf Governor. Uh, PA Forward, is also um, an initiative that uh, came about to try to help libraries to communicate the value of their services to their communities. Uh, about 15 years ago, uh, the state of Pennsylvania uh, had uh, proposed a budget cut to the library subsidy. And at that time, uh, in, a, in an attempt to try to counteract that proposal, the Pennsylvania Library Association formed a task force of public, school, uh, academic, and special librarians uh, to take a look at ways that our libraries could better communicate the, what services they provide to their communities. So this task force began a three-year uh, Pro, began a three three year cycle of meeting to develop the PA Forward initiative. And what they first did was they first took a look at what are the needs of the citizens of Pennsylvania. And so they started to do some research and were pulling together some of the uh, community challenges that existed out and about uh, throughout the Commonwealth. Some items such as a third of adults who struggle with illiteracy are age 65 or older. Uh, and that statistic came from the Literacy in America uh, nonprofit. In 2021, 56% of Americans could name all three branches of government. And quite frankly, that was at a 15 year high. Uh, and that was probably because of uh, all of the 2020 discussions that were going on in the media. That statistic came comes from the University of Pennsylvania. 65% of all jobs need an education beyond a high school diploma. That comes from uh, the Georgetown University Center on Education and Workforce. And low health literacy skills cost between 106 and $238 billion each year because of a high rate of the use of emergency room care. And that statistic comes from uh, another nonprofit called Pro Literacy. So as the task force took a look at these community needs that exist uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, they were also recognizing that uh, Pennsylvania's public, academic, and school libraries were really well positioned to help people of all ages master five types of knowledge essential the functioning successfully in a 21st century society. And libraries can reach all members of our community regardless of their identity, their background, or their economic status. In this case, it's really a neutral space uh, in terms of being open to everyone. So recognizing that there were challenges, and recognizing that libraries really were trusted and well positioned to help solve those problems, they developed this program based upon four um, foundational um, beliefs, pivotal uh, uh, understanding about libraries. Libraries are multi-purpose in nature 
and not just the bricks and mortar buildings known for warehousing books. They add value to their communities, serving as a hub for activity and engagement beyond more traditional uses of research and writing. They enhance individual success, which in turn supports the overall collective success of a community, an area, a region, a county, or the state. It results in an environment of lifelong learners and are good for all ages, races, gender identities, religions, and educational levels, fostering diversity and inclusion. So based upon those ideas and really the formulation of the concept that libraries have an impact because of the work they do in five essential literacy areas. And those five essential literacy areas are basic information, civic and social, health and financial. This initiative is um, an initiative of the Pennsylvania Library Association. Um, and how the Pennsylvania Library Association works with these uh, with this initiative is that it works to try to help libraries to better communicate the work they do. What PA Forward does is it provides a universal voice and brand. The work, the impact that libraries have can be defined in the success that they have in providing services in these five fundamental literacy areas. It's an umbrella framework that, are, that you as a library director can use to communicate to your community and your stakeholders, your friends, your board members about the act, impact that your library is having in your community. The rationale for, for the program is that libraries are well positioned to move Pennsylvania forward because of the work they do in advancing literacy, specifically the five fundamental literacies that I have already described, basic information, civic and social. It is fully based in this idea for you to be able to communicate the work that you do. And um, PA Forward can really be used in three really specific areas in the work that you do as the director of the library. It's a communication tool. You can go to your community and say, the work we're doing, we are trying to impact basic literacy, uh, basic, uh, try to reduce illiteracy rates, but also we're trying to create civic and social engagement so that individuals have a, an understanding of um, working together in society, health literacy, financial literacy, all of which benefit the society, the community as a whole, society as a whole, uh, to be able to, to show your impact. PA Forward can also be used as a strategic planning tool. It gives a framework uh, for your strategic plan. It gives a framework that's easily definable and communicatable that you can communicate. Uh, also, it is an excellent tool to use for any kind of outreach plan and certainly for outreach and developing partnerships with other groups in your community who are also carrying out literacy work. So I'm gonna just take two or three minutes and I'm just gonna go through the five literacies, kind of explaining to you how we define them and uh, kind of go over the fact that we do create some tools that uh, you can use uh, to help explain the work that, you're, that you would do in those five areas. So basic literacy really we define as early learning, it's the foundational literacy, it's workforce development, it's um, the work that we do with uh, newly re-entered, uh, incarcerated individuals, uh, it's adult basic education courses, and in terms of PA Forward, we define STEM programming under basic literacy. It is the, the, the tools you need to just absolutely be able to function in a 21st century society, and STEM is core to all of that. 
How we define information literacy, um, we do define it fairly similar to the academic world. It's the ability to um, access multiple vehicles of, of information, distinguishing between credible and non-credible sources. But we also add that very specific tool task that many public libraries do, which is understanding digital literacy and being able to use the tools that are available to navigate a digital world. Civic and social literacy is defined really as the knowledge and skills needed to improve one's life, to participate and contribute effectively in our community, government, society, and to connect to one another. At this, you know, um, when I was a library director um, in my past, uh, one of the questions I often got asked is like, so what, you know, you're doing these knitting classes and what's really, you know, is it really the job of the library to train people how to knit or teach people how to knit? And actually the answer to that is this very, is really civic and social literacy. It's social literacy. You're not really teaching people how to knit. You're providing opportunities for your users to, communicate to each other and build an understanding with people who are different than themselves. And so that's what those programs are there for. And it's all part of civic and social literacy. We define health literacy as actually being able to participate in our healthcare system. It's the skills and knowledge needed to be able to help manage your own health needs your own family's health needs. And financial literacy, we define as personal finance, investing, understanding real estate, signing a lease, setting up a budget, and you know, tax planning um, is all of an area that we kind of talk about in terms of financial literacy. So in addition to this set of, of information, we do have rationales uh, statistics that showed up on each of the slides that I had uh, flashed, we have uh, created tools for you to be able to use in uh, work in terms of PA Forward. And we call that our PA Forward Toolkit. Um, the toolkit is freely available whether you're a member of the association or not. You do, you would, would need to go to the uh, Pennsylvania Library Association website, which is at www.palibraries.org. And there's a menu item for Get Involved. Uh, under Get Involved, you'll see that the PA Forward is a flyout. And under that is all of the tools that we have created to be able to carry out PA Forward. It includes the logos you've seen. Uh, there is a a digital media calendar that's available and it's uh, there is gives you an entire year worth of programming ideas in the digital media calendar. There are also rationale sheets that you can use in your own library uh, that you can brand with your library's logo to uh, show the reasons why you are doing specific literacy work uh, with, the with the statistics and the uh, uh, educational background, uh, or I should say the research background and, and citations for those. Um, now, PE Forward, in addition to having this, really has two arms of it and the work that is done. And those two arms are partnerships and partnership development, and also the, pen, the PA Forward Star Library Program. So uh, in terms of partnerships, uh, PA Forward uh, is really based on the concept that you as a librarian are an, a subject matter expert in the area of acquiring, organizing, and providing access to information. You are not a subject matter expert in financial planning. So PA Forward has developed statewide partnerships with groups to be able to carry out work in the areas of the, the literacies. And so we can connect you to subject matter experts in those areas. Also, we want to encourage libraries to work together to build a better library ecosystem. And we have to recognize that all of our library types, whether that be public, academic, or school, are really interconnected 
uh, entities. And if one arm of those are not strong in an individual community, the other libraries suffer and uh, have to expend resources to support the other. So we really all have an, a very important uh, work to do acting together to create one voice for stronger libraries in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And partnering with our li other libraries is a great way to build that, uh, to build those ties. Uh, but PA Forward has developed some amazing partnerships with organizations throughout the Commonwealth. The School Librarians Association, a giant corporation, the uh, Center for Rural Pennsylvania, uh, a number of Pennsylvania departments of government, corrections, health, labor and industry, treasury, insurance, state, and I really didn't even need to put it up there, but Department of Ed is a partner with PA Forward. These groups can bring subject matter experts to you and provide you with the ability to carry out programs for adults, kids within your library. And the last initiative of the association is, uh, of the uh, initiative is the PA Forward Star Program. PA Forward Star Program is based upon the concept that we want to reward libraries for, with recognition for carrying out quality programs and carrying out quality programs in all five areas of the literacy areas. Uh, we have three levels, bronze, silver, and gold. There are actually five levels of silver stars, one for each of the uh, literacy areas. And there's a, a simple, pretty simple uh, plan for you to follow to be able to develop your star library status. Um, we have star libraries throughout the Commonwealth um, in every area and every region and uh, they continue to grow each year um, and each month. Uh, and currently we have issued 1300 stars to more than 200 libraries in the state, of, in, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This is a real brief introduction to PA Forward. I want to let you know that I and uh, a team of volunteers are available to help carry out uh, uh, PA Forward and help do training. Uh, all you would ever need to do if you want to have training in your library or hear more about PA Forward and how it can work in your library, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I can be reached at either Rob or PA Forward at palibraries.org. And I hope you have a great orientation session and I look forward to working with all of you and the Pennsylvania Library Association wants to welcome all of you to your new positions. So have a great day and have a, um, and have a great rest of your session.